Hey everyone. Dan here, Sherpy T. Not a lot going on today. It's a Saturday. It's been a long week. Just getting some chores done. Gonna be taking the old uh, Sherp trailer there and I'm just gonna cut some wood that's up in the front that's been dying. And then we can just leave that sit in here until I burn it. So I'm sure I can burn it this year. It'll be fine. So I've got to put the hitch on the back of the Sherp to be able to hook up to that. And that's not the simplest thing to do in the world. But it's not the most difficult thing either. If I can just figure out where the heck it is I put it. Pretty nice day today here. It's probably colder inside the shed than it is outside because it's really warmed up. But what you do is take this. Hitch, pull all the pins off. All there is to it. Now I'll let this thing start up. I haven't had the heater running, so I'm not sure. How well she's gonna start. It's been very cold, but again, it's warmed up. Let her warm up a little bit. Get the old trailer hooked up and off we go. Now she's been running for, I don't know, five minutes. I did end up turning on the Wabasco heater. It's just all good. So we're going to take the back off. There's no reason to have this on. In fact, it will be in the way if it's on. Well, that's nice. Something could like catch on something. No wind, which is fantastic. A little bit of powder snow down here, but there's not enough for the snowmobile trails to open around here. There's probably needs a good three, four more inches.
Tracking snow in is a pain in the butt of this darn thing. Get the trains a little oil in. Well, it looks like I screwed up and didn't show you how to put that on, so I apologize. But this is a really interesting hitch again. Pushing on this, it lifts it, it that's what unlatches it. It's just a very strong, cool hitch. I wish we had them here. So again, not too much that's really gonna be happening here. All we're gonna do go down is go cut up a couple of small trees. Nothing too big. And it's just at the end of the driveway. Why use a shirt? Because I got one. Well, I pulled out my Steels 362C to do this small little job. It's one hell of a saw. Absolutely fantastic. Other than when I first bought it, it took about five tanks of fuel for the thing to run right. But the more fuel that I burn through it, the more power it has, the better it works. This is just a small little ash tree. Uh, we got the emerald ash borer that's basically destroying all of them around here tree's been uh, blown over for oh, a couple of months so I thought I'd just clean it up and burn it yet this year in the fireplace might be a little bit green but that's okay we always need pieces for at night to have those coals in the morning so I've only used the trailer a handful of times it seems to handle the weight fairly well when you are pulling the trailer in the water and there is a lot of weight you go a hell of a lot slower and I think you would probably struggle to get back up on the ice the cover on the trailer is kind of a pain right you whack your head when you're putting stuff in there um, you can take it off by yourself but really it's a lot easier with two people uh, the Air pressure has held up the entire time. I never had to add any more, even with the changes in temperature. Uh, you really don't know that it's behind. It does take a little bit more power if you're going up hills, but it's nothing really that bad. I'm not disappointed I bought it. And again, the main reason that I did buy it is having those two extra tires there to be used. And I actually was going to do a video to try to show the difference between the tires on the trailer versus the tires on the Sherp. In other words, what are the 200 hours of running time done to the tires in the Sherp? How much does it hurt? And I really can't show you a significant difference between the tires that are on there and these. Now, they're a little bit sharper on the trailer, but not much. I was going to take these tra tires off the trailer when I first got it, put them on the front of the trailer, excuse me, on the front of the Sherp, but I didn't because I really couldn't see a big difference for it. But I'm sure I'll have to change them at some point if I continue to use it as much as I have been. Well, we're coming to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Nothing too fancy here. Uh, still might do something tomorrow. I don't know yet. Uh, if I do get that something tomorrow, I would expect that you'd see it uh, before next weekend. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Uh, please click that like button. Have a great day. Woo! Saw stayed in place. Yeah, I think this stuff will work.